Hey people, Aziz Army here, back with the next part of my Outriders playthrough. Uh, so we're about to head over to what looks like uh, the last area on the map, uh, at least before the expedition starts. So this could be the final episode in terms of the story. Um, so what I've done is I've just made sure that I completed all the side quests, etc. up until now. I've tried to upgrade my gear as best as I can. Um, so yeah, let's speak to Shanna and get moving. So as you can see here, it doesn't really extend any further than this, so let's do this. We're so close. The signal's coming from just beyond this ridge. Stay on the lookout. You see any movement, run. It's all the bubbles. What do we have here? Zahidi, I found some more writing from Monroy's people. I think we must be approaching their colony. It seems Monroy didn't believe the Pax were so peaceful. When their tech started getting fried, he suspected the Pax were trying to sabotage them. Then, just as a storm was brewing up, they caught the Pax doing one of their obelisk rituals. Did Monroy think the Pax were causing the storm? I, uh thought the same thing when I first saw August in those ruins in the forest. Monroy ordered his soldiers to stop them. It was on that day that Dr. Indira recorded the first Pax deaths. Please collect all the writing you can find for me. Perhaps we can learn their story. Okay. So yeah, hopefully we'll find out exactly what is going on then uh, in this episode. Excited to see what the end game is like as well. This is like, this just looks nuts, to be fair. It's pretty cool. Okay, we got a sniper at the back, causing a mayhem as usual. Just hate how powerful the snipers are in this. But at the same time, it makes it kind of interested to uh, play a sniper class because they're so so strong. What is going on? Ah! Yeah, this sniper's range is absolutely screwing me. Whoa, dude! I thought I'd leveled everything up ready for this area, but clearly not. As soon as I get an opportunity this time, I'm going to try and get rid of that sniper. Surely not. How? Are you still doing this? Oh, there's a, a pot over there. Whoa!
Right, let's get these snipers down now. Alright, last two. Oh! I'm going to stop running into a wall. Whoa! Okay, I thought it was the last two. Loot everywhere! Right, now that's all cleared up, let's investigate the area. After the first big storms burned out most of their tech, sounds like Monroy got furious. He demanded explanations from the PAX and access to their powers, but they didn't understand. They offered him everything they could. They led Monroy through the jungle to their sacred city. Probably this city, the place we've discovered. Okay, that was random. Delayed sound effect. <laughs> well, this crazy water is uh, messing it up by the looks of it. I'm looking forward to like eventually getting a, a new main gun as well because I've been using this uh, this frost gun for ages. Like, I do like it. Like the combination of using like frost and bleed is pretty cool. Whoa, dude! Big guy. Okay, just stay still for me. Good boy. I was just a legendary. Awesome! Where are you all? Come to me. Oh, Warlord. Need to hurry up and increase my thing. Ah, oh, I lost my timer. Shred this guy. Ugh. Die now! Oh, wow, this <laughs> guy just imploded. Okay, so many. Where is this guy? This is one like right here. Oh, there he is. See, now I feel the Devastator is working as it should. Just an absolute steamroller. Pax took him to the Grand Temple, tried to show him how they communed with the anomaly. But Monroy thought it was a ploy to assassinate him. He ordered the executions of the Pax leaders and locked down the temple until he could learn how to control it himself. There are countless cages here. They're filled with skeletons. They look like pack skeletons.
Okay, right. Time for the big boys. Run out. After they'd executed the Pax leaders. Monroy's people started moving into the city. This was their colony. They took over the homes of the Pax, forcing them to work for them, to serve them. In other words, they made them slaves. They believed the loss of their machinery was the Pax's fault. Doesn't matter what they believed. There's no excuse for enslaving another race. I think it's getting real clear who the Pax were scared of, who they changed themselves into ferals to protect themselves from. Oh god, this is awful. Ah, oh, the flies. Yeah, so like side quests. I've done all the hist uh, everything now apart from the historian and a couple of side quests, and then uh, I'm a hundred percent with that as well. Yeah, I'm pretty much like on track to get everything done 100% um, as I kind of complete the game. Whoa, what the hell happened then? Did I just get like warped? What the hell? That was weird. Whoa! It happened again! Why can't I... What the hell? Okay, it's got a bit of haywire. Great, well in the course of that we just lost our bloody... Golem. That was uh, a bit nuts. I think it was that vortex thing, I think it um... Like it does that sometimes. Like where it tries to pull you somewhere you shouldn't be. Place. It was a slave market. Just to uh, our guy's uh, enjoyment. You know how he loves the notes. Seems like they got hit by the worst storm yet. Hundreds died, humans and packs. Some of the obelisks were damaged too, so whatever the packs once were doing to control the storms, they couldn't do it anymore. He feared an uprising, losing control as packs started to abandon the city. Uh, Nikolai Galyatkin, Monroy made him general, and put him in charge of weapons production. No doubt the same weapons the Ferals used against them later. Monroy, this palace is covered with flags, all with... It's gotta be his face. He made himself king of the Pax. A king? A tyrant. Oh, not the shaman. 
I dealt with these guys in a, one of these guys in a side quest, and to be honest, it was an absolute nightmare. But I mean, hopefully, we're stronger now, and it shouldn't be the same. But we'll see. This guy's got hella health. Yeah, at least I kind of know uh, some of his attacks. Not that I can avoid all of them, but... Okay, have we got someone? I can't get around. Oh great, we've got two warlords to add to the misc as well. Melt this guy. Well, this is bad. I've got no ammo. I've been chased for days. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to have to run here and get some bullets. Need the freeze gun. Freeze gun is OP. Whoa! Oh my god. Shield. Just in time with the barrier then. Okay, well, for whatever reason, I haven't actually got... <laughs> I ain't got the armor on at the moment. You can see the cooldown going off, uh, but it's decided to still keep me coated. I guess this is what all the uh, jumping around is doing to the game. No. Okay, well at least it went off that time. Oh my god. Screw your sanctuary. No, stop freezing me. Oh, he obviously he moved it just as I was going to get him. Oh no! Ah!
What? God, so close to dying. I need ammo again now. Okay, let's break. We'll have all our abilities back. Then we can go again. So tanky! Ah! Really? So if I don't destroy it, he goes back to full health. hell just happened then? Reset, reset a minute. Why are you so tanky? Does really feel like I need someone else here to be dishing the damage out to be honest. For the first, like one of the first times where like I've never I don't remember having an enemy just take this much punishment. Even when we fought the Ajax the first time, he wasn't this tanky. Come on! Die! Yes! <sighs> Jeez, that was like... Hella punishment. Yards clear. I don't think... Uh, yeah, that's gotta be surely the most health that anything we've fought so far has had. Three bars, and each one of them was like a snail. To hunt down the fleeing packs, and that's when the uprising he'd predicted finally found them. 
but it wasn't the Pax. At least, not as he expected. The Pharaohs. He never saw them coming. But Monroy didn't retreat. That asshole dug in out there, in the desert, and tried to track them down where they were coming from. That's when he found the canyon and the great obelisk. He finally understood there who the Pharaohs were. But that's when he got word that the city was under attack. And so it was. The beginning of the end. Because I'm pretty sure... Found Dr. Indira's last journal. How do you know? Because she wrote it just before getting executed. By Monroy. She tried to broker a truce with the Pax, thinking she could stop the Pharaohs if she surrendered Monroy to them. Okay, nice. <laughs> I would have done the same too and tried to uh, sacrifice that bar steward. Oh. I made it to the top. Palace is clear. What do you see? You better come up here and see for yourself. Jesus Christ. He made himself a throne and everything. Wow. This Monroy was a madman. Hey, there's a ship! Is that... the Caravel? That's not possible. The Caravel never left Earth. Its engines exploded. Tens of thousands died. Then what the hell are we looking at? The source of the fucking signal. Monroy's signal. There's no place beyond the storm. It's coming from in there, protected from the anomaly, just like the uplink in your goddamn briefcase. I don't fucking understand. Neither do I. It doesn't make any sense. Everyone saw the caravel explode during its construction. Even if the people left on Earth were able to rebuild the ship, they left after us. We were the first. Nevertheless, what's certain is that Monroy enslaved August's people. He butchered them, and they turned. They mutated into savages willingly, so they could fight back. I'm done with all this. Whatever's waiting for you on that ship, I want no part of it. Tiago. You can't leave us now. I thought you weren't a deserter. What they did to August's people. What our people did to August, don't you see? Thank you for letting me walk away with you. Hate to see it, Tiago. <laughs> we did really have much of an impact a anyway. <laughs> okay. This is it now. That ship, the signal, the garden. I'm ready to make some sense of all this. We'll leave on your word, Outrider. Okay, so is there one more area? Yeah, like it's just a dead end, is it? So let's just speak to Shanna and just see if there is one more place that pops up on the map. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it, we, <laughs> we didn't go across any further. We just squiggled all the way upwards. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, I would say it's a bit of an anticlimax, but that was a hell of a slog to get through that. Um, but yeah, so another stop on the road. Potentially next one will be the final one. We'll have to see. I uh, hope you enjoyed it either way. If you did, like the video, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.